How's it going everybody? Tim here, the Greyhound Guru, back with another Greyhound Bus video. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to talk about weapons on the Greyhound Bus. Now, this is a question that, honestly, I get quite a lot. Um, and when I first started getting it, I used to laugh. Um, and I was like, really? Should you bring a weapon on the bus? Uh, but then, after a while, uh, I started to uh, understand the emotion behind it. Like, I realized, like, people were asking this question, not to be stupid or silly, but people were really nervous about riding the bus, uh, really scared uh, about riding the bus. And, you know, for a lot of them, the stories they heard made them feel like, you know, uh, they might need to be carrying when they got on the Greyhound bus, you know? Um, and so that's why I wanted to make this video about weapons on the Greyhound bus, because I realized that it actually is a real issue. It's a real question people have. Um, so let's just get, a, get this out there. Uh, Greyhound's policy is no weapons on the bus. So my answer to the question, first and foremost, is going to be no, you shouldn't bring a weapon on the Greyhound bus. Greyhound's policy is no weapons on the bus. Um, I'm not a legal expert, so if you have something like a concealed weapons permit, I don't know what'll happen if uh, they find, you know, if they search your bags for some reason or search you and find it. I'm not really sure in that instance. Uh, maybe in that instance you'd be okay, but with anyone else, if they find you with a weapon on the bus, there's going to be an issue. Uh, best case scenario, you'll probably get kicked off the bus. Worst case scenario, um, they probably call the law and there might be some form of arrest or, or something made, but they're probably going to kick you off the bus. So having a weapon on the Greyhound bus, not a good idea. Um, I don't recommend it. Um, that being said, if there's some reason that you just really feel, uh, you just really don't feel safe, um, you just really feel like you want to have something other than just like uh, your hands <laughs> as some form of weapon, something to protect yourself on the bus, um, if you just have to, you know, go against all the advice and take something with you, I would recommend something that is obviously a defensive weapon, um, something like pepper spray or something like a small taser, something that uh, ladies you could fit in your purse or guys, you know, in your backpack and in a little pocket, something that if it's found during a search, uh, people know that you have it strictly for defensive purposes. Um, if you bring something on the bus like a knife or, or, or a gun or anything like that, uh, if it's found uh, they have no clue, uh, that you weren't going to use that weapon, uh, you know, to harm others. Uh, so I recommend if you have to have something, uh, get, you know, a pepper spray, a uh, small taser. I'll actually leave a link in the description box to a couple of, of items like this that I'm talking about on Amazon. Something that if they find it, they know you're just going to use it to protect yourself. No one's going to think that you're going to use pepper spray to try to rob somebody at the Detroit bus station. Um, that's, you know, they're not going to think that. They're going to realize that it's probably something you're using just to protect yourself. So that's my recommendation if you have to have some form of weapon. Though, uh, ultimately, I say don't bring any type of weapon. Um, just kind of the psychology behind that, too, is I feel like um, when you don't have a weapon, uh, you're more likely, if a situation pops off, to try to defuse the situation, get out of that situation. Um, I learned this uh, years ago when I used to live in Atlanta. Um, me and my friends would go out uh, on the weekends, and uh, I didn't really live in a bad neighborhood, but you know, sometimes we would visit the club and they'd be in some rough neighborhoods, or we'd go play basketball. We used to go play basketball in the hood. Like, <laughs> it's like, so, uh, you know, every now and then one of my friends would be like, hey, man, I'm, I'm taking something with me. You know, it, 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 yeah, it's the way it is in some places. Um, and I realized that when we had a weapon, our, our, our demeanor was kind of different. Like if we ever got jammed up in a situation, we didn't have anything on us. We were quick to try to, you know, duck and run, get out of there, be gone. When we knew there was something in the car, some kind of weapon, um, we kind of got a little more boisterous. Um, we kind of stood our ground a little more, which in life sometimes you have to do. Um, but sometimes the situations got a little more perilous just because we had that other option of uh, escalating the violence because we had a weapon. Um, and this is something I don't uh, want to see happen to anyone on the Greyhound bus. Um, if you don't have a weapon, if someone's about to cause you harm, uh, you're trying to get out of the situation, you're trying to get help from whoever you can get help from, um, trying to defuse the situation. If you've got a gun on you, you've got a knife on you or something like that, um, that's going to give you more options to escalate the situation. 
Um, and your goal in Greyhound is just to get on the bus, have a quiet trip, get to your destination. If you've got a weapon and you have to use that on the Greyhound bus, um, that's not going to be the case with your trip. You stab somebody or shoot at somebody, um, even if you get away, they're going to be looking for you. Uh, in most cases, you're not going to get away. The cops are going to show up. Um, and there's going to be repercussions. So I really recommend not bringing any type of weapon just so that, you know, uh, your mind will be focused on how can I get out of the situation? Um, how can I keep myself safe? Uh, you'll be more focused on using the tips I recommend about safety uh, in some of my other videos. Check those out if you haven't watched them. Um, and you won't be you won't be focused on, hey, if somebody tries me, I got, you know, uh, you know, something I can do. But, you know, they won't try me twice. Uh, <laughs> um, but like I said, if you really need to have something, uh, just take maybe some little pepper spray, a uh, small taser. Like I said, I'm not a legal expert. I don't really know what would happen if you have those on the bus, but I think you'd be a lot better off than if you brought on a uh, type of weapon. Now, if you have like a little small pocket knife or something like that that you always carry with you, uh, I don't really think that's going to be considered a major weapon. Um, a lot of people carry pocket knives every day, so if you want to take a little pocket knife with you, I can understand that. You know, and, and, and if it's just a very bad situation pops up, um, you could kind of use that to defend yourself a little bit. Uh, but mainly, uh, you know, just focusing on staying safe. Uh, you know, a lot of times if you're inside the station or on the bus, you're really never going to have an opportunity to get in a situation where you're going to need to physically defend yourself to that level. Um, when you're on the bus, you're at the station, there's lots of other passengers around and they're typically are going to jump in uh, to help you out if someone tries to assault you. Uh, the only places where you might have some issues outside the station, I don't recommend going out there at nighttime, things like that. Um, and I've mentioned before, sometimes in the bathroom, it can get a little sketchy. So, you know, just kind of watch who's going in the bathroom before you. But in most cases, I'd say 98% of the time, you're on the Greyhound bus. You're not going to need a weapon. Uh, you're not even going to have a situation where you think about uh, needing any type of weapon. Uh, in those other situations, you can rely on just kind of your common sense and the help from others to get out of those situations without you having to harm someone and then you putting yourself in line for arrest. So uh, this is my video on weapons on the Greyhound bus. My overall answer, don't bring them. Um, if you have any other questions about the Greyhound bus, uh, please leave them in the comment box below or uh, you can message me on here. Um, follow me on Twitter, the Guru of Greyhounds. Uh, I answer questions on there too. Uh, and check out my blog, greyhoundbusguru.com. And uh, I answer a lot of frequently asked questions on there. So I'm Tim, the Greyhound Guru. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.